Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's that time of the month again where we show you the completed pages for the month of November. I haven't counted them, I don't know. Um, most of them are actually patterns, I'm not going to lie, but there are a few pictures in. I've just had a patterny mood. So, let's start. So I did one in Relax With Art issue 98. I don't know how good it is, I haven't got my light on today. We just went, this was a buddy colour that I did with Molly Newland. Hi Molly! And I did this one. I will put the light on actually, it's a bit, a bit dark. Let me just pull it down. This light plays out when the stand doesn't work properly and then it, oh, it's all twisted round. There we go. So no haul this month, like I said, I am not doing a haul um, until the end of December. So there may be a few books you haven't seen in here because, before because I haven't hauled them. Um, but yeah, so this one was done with mostly polychromos, I believe. Uh, no, partly polychromos and partly um, crisp colours. I really like the way those flipping leaves took ages to do, I can tell you now. But I'm really pleased with it. I really like this book. Very nice. So that's one from Colour My Horde 2022. I gotta find somewhere to put them there. <laughs> Good. Uh, okay, I did one in Christmas Darlings by Kelly Horton. Again, this is a book I've had for ages and I've not done anything in it. So again, Colour My Horde 2022. And I did this little girl here with the teddy bear. She's just wrapped up her presents. And that was done with oh, oh hoo hoo markers, the hoo, oh hoo hoo pastels. Um, I used a copic gel for the skin, and her hair would have been done probably with a, a, a hoo hoo as well. And the rest of it is glitter pens. Very nice. I did try and do a few. Um, from the uh, uh, the. I haven't coloured in. So here's another one from Colour Hoard 2022. This is Jade Summer Dragons. I am not a huge dragon fan, but I did find one I really liked, which was this one. And this was all done with Oh Hoo Hoos. I just really, really liked this picture. I think it is just beautiful. So it took a little while, but I enjoyed colouring it. And I'm glad I finally coloured in a Jade Summer book I haven't coloured in before. There's not many. There are a few, but there's not that many. Next, uh, Buddy Colour with Chelsea Jade Murray, which was from Rococo Go Go by Carla Magania. There we go. So, this was coloured with uh, Ohuhu pastels, um, Gurkst, and Arteza Everblend. A little bit of glitter on there as well. I do like these. So, that was a fun one with Chelsea. We always do one. We do about one every month if we can. So, thanks, Chelsea. One of the whips left over from October was the one in Spellbound that I started on camera but never finished. This one, and again this was Ohuhu Markers and Arteza Everblend, I think. Yeah, because it's got a piece of paper still behind it. And yeah, really nice. I really like that one. It's a nice one. I think I've done three in that book, which is unusual for me to do that many pictures in one book. So it's that one. Uh, Zen colouring season designs. That's all the pictures. Oh no, there's one more picture. Let me just show you the picture. And then now, long time ago, I started a picture in this one. I know. I love this book. I've only done two in it, um, and I, I, it, they are quite intimidating. But I did this one of the angel, and I wanted to try and make her look like she had just turned to stone. She was a real one. So you see, there's red veins running through her face. There's a little bit of colour on her cheeks and her eyes and in her hair um, and some on the roses as well. Um, but I'd, I'd, and I'd finished that ages ago. I just hadn't done the background. It took me ages to get enough guts and I did use the um, Distressed Inks. It looks all right. It's a bit knackered and crap there, but it's not too bad. I'm quite pleased with that one. Glad I finally finished it anyway. It's one off my whip list. I'm slowly getting them down. Then we're on to the patterns. These are the non-colour by number books now, so pattern books. Zen colouring seasonal designs. This one took a while, but it was fun. Just done with various different glitter pens. 
Again, that's another one for Colour Your Hoard 2022. And then I did one in Creative Haven's Rose Windows colouring book. Uh, I love this book. And this is good. I've done quite a lot in this one. And I did this one. And what pens did I use on this one? Not the normal ones. I can't remember what I used. Um, I'm trying to think now. I was in the bedroom. I did this in the bedroom. It was probably the shuttle art markers then. Because that's the ones I've got in there. Or I had in there. They're in here now. But I do like that. It's really nice. Okay, Jade Summer 50 Easy Patterns. I bought some metallic pens, which you'll see in my haul at the end of December. They only had gold, bronze, blue, green and silver in them, which are these ones and this one. And I thought I need a bit more colour, so I pulled out some of my other ones and just filled in around the edges with uh, some of the other metallic colours I've got. Looks alright, it's not too bad. Uh, again, Jade Summer, 100 Amazing Patterns. So many books. And I did this one. This one was done using the Crelando brush tip pens from Lidl's. I like them for patterns. They look really nice. There we go. And that's all that was done in that one. So I said, I try to do one every now and again in some of these books. And then I've got 100 Magical Patterns as well by Jade Summer. This is another one of their pattern books. I do hope that Jade Summer go back to putting out books next year because I really miss getting my Jade Summer fix. This one was done with a mixture of shuttle arts, scribblicious ones from the works and one or two sharpies and it's literally just a tub of pens I would tip out and I'd blindly pick one and just colour a section and I quite like the way that it does work it looks really good it's really bright I've done this before was it wasn't in this it was in this book and it was his first one um but that was with the super tips but this was with the um shuttle arts mostly and I love it and I might have to do another one like that soon Uh, 50 Stylish Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova and I always start at the beginning and I did this one it didn't take me long to do I really enjoyed doing this one this was done with the Bic Kids Colour Pencils the 18 count there is a 24 count I believe that you can get that's 18 is it? yeah 18 is a 24 there's one that's got six extra pens um, which I have ordered uh, so it'll be interesting to see what colours they are but that was nice and nice little nibs perfect for a book like this so, and that's the first one, and that's a new book you haven't seen yet, so it will be in my haul. On to the colour by numbers. My favourite, of course, is Stained Glass Egyptian by Sachin Sachdeva, because I love anything to do with Egypt. And I did this one. Again, this was just done with various markers downstairs, Oh Hoo Hoo, um, Bold Mirror, which are from the the works and then deco time markers from B&M or um, the range sell them as well so they're just a mixture of pens I get out and use um, on books downstairs so there's those I did one in 50 celestial mandalas color by number again this is Sachin Sachdeva I love these books I just love them they're so simple easy to do don't take long and again, I used the same markers as I did with the previous one because most of the colour by number stay, books stay downstairs throughout the entire month. So, Bold Mirror, Oh Hoo Hoo, Deco Time, and I think the yellow one, potentially, there is a yellow one that came from another set, which is the Crelando markers. Um, I don't know which books they're in, but they will be because I'm just using a lot of yellow. I do like those. Then I've got Colour by Number Flowers by Jade Summer. And I did this one. These don't take too long. Nice and simple. Again, the same markers as before. The mixture of all the ones I've mentioned in these books will be the same now. But I like that. It's very pretty. I did one in beautiful patterns. Again, this is a Jade Summer colour by number. I have tabbed it. It's just getting... What number are we on? Number 18. Wow. Uh, great. That's good. I like this one. That's a very nice one. Again, same markers. They do tend to use a lot of the same colours in the pattern schemes. But I don't mind that. I find that quite relaxing. And that was really nice. I really enjoyed that. I love these Jade Summer ones. 
we put them away now for December or part of December or up to Christmas anyway then Colour by Number Mandalas by Jade Summer this one doesn't have its pages numbered sadly and this one is all orange and yellow and I really like the colour scheme on this one I like it all oranges and, and a bit of yellow I think it a bit of red I think that one looks really nice but again it's just the same set of markers that I previously used Okay, so then we've got colour by number patterns. Again, this is Jade Summer. This one's all blue and purple with a little bit of yellow and green and orange. But again, it, these are so easy to do. They don't take long. I really enjoy doing them. I can't wait to do some more. And hopefully after Christmas, once we get to Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, I'll probably just be finishing off the Christmas ones I've done and then I'll move on to these. Then I've got Colour by Number Christmas by Jade Summer, because why not? And I did this one and I've actually missed um, one thing, which is the 24, which I believe is a brown. So I'm going to go and do that now and I'll be back in a minute. I'm actually going because I need... There we go. <laughs> I finished that now. Um, yeah, so that's uh, the Jade Summer Christmas colouring book. So Christmas uh, Colour by Number. And then I've got... 50 Christmas mandalas colour by number. It was getting in ready for Christmas in this one, doing a few Christmassy picks. I'm really looking forward to getting started on some of these. And I just did this one with the little nutcrackers. I thought it was kind of cute. And this one had some bleed through from the previous page because I put the page through on the wrong one. But it doesn't really matter. So I'm really happy with that. Again, these are all the same markers as before. Then I've got the Kawaii Colour by Number by Colour Questopia. Okay, I only did one in here and I did it slightly different because previously I've been using the silver pen to go around the outside. But this time I thought I would try the gold. So again, it's the same set of markers that I've been using all the way through the Ohoo Hoos, Bold Mirror, Deco Time, etc, etc. Um, but as I go around silver, I decided to use the gold pen instead. It looks quite nice. I quite like that. So I'll, I'll use it every now and again. I think one might look good with gold. I'll use gold, another time I'll use the silver. I might use black one day, you never know. Um, okay, 50 diamond mandalas by Sash and Sash Davis. I've got so many colour uh, by numbers. Some of these will be finished next year, definitely. <laughs> and I did this one. Again, same old, same old um, ones. Can't think of what it's called, but you know what I mean. Marcus. But there you go, that's another one there. Another Christmas one next, and this is Christmas Mandala, colour by number by, pra uh, by Sachin Sachdeva. I get confused sometimes they're by his wife and sometimes they're by him. This size, this is a dinky little book. This is, God, I love this one. This was so nice to do. It's so pretty. Again, just the same marks. I love this little book. I think I'll probably finish this one next year as well, even though I've hardly done anything, because I'm really going to hit them next month. I am really looking forward to doing lots of colour by numbers. And then I've got 100 Easy Mandala Colour by Number Volume 1 Sachin Sach Diva. And again, I've only done one in this one. I was just doing them. And they're so simple, nice and easy. It's not going to take long to do. I don't know if I'll finish it next year, but the year after, absolutely. <laughs> again, same markers that I've previously used. It will be the same unless I tell you otherwise, basically. St. Patrick's Day. I know we're only in December, but I do love a bit of St. Patrick's Day, you, you know. And again, this is a Sachin and Sachin Day one. This is a nice, simple one. Jennifer wants a copy of this, so I might actually get it her um, for March. Um, it's just this one of the Pot of Gold, the End of the Rainbow. Let's open it up a bit. There you go. I do like these. I mean, I won't be doing any of these uh, in December because obviously we're going to do Christmas. Ah, Christmas patterns colour by number. This is Prachi Duan. Patchy Duan Sativa. And this is another lovely book by the um, and it's this one. And I enjoyed this one as well. This is the one that's got the writing as well. I don't want Christmas season to end because it's the only time I can legitimately indulge in one particular addiction, glitter. So I will uh, carry on with that one this one and then obviously oh, pen fell off which fantasy by color questopia this is one i love again this one i'm going to finish next year there's not much left this one again i didn't put the block block page in the right page so it's a bit weird but it's nice looks all right i like all the purples 
Uh, I do, I like that book. I love that one. And finally, um, another Saturday and Saturday of one, Stained Glass Christmas. Um, which I only got this month, but I've done two in here and I'm, I'm currently working on another one as well. So I'll just show you. Uh, I have done this one. And I like that one. They're very busy, but I like the colours. And this one. I'm currently working on this one. So I'll be working on that one later when uh, I get a chance. So that's all the pictures I coloured this month or finished this month. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm looking forward to um, having a good Christmas colour along and doing loads of Christmassy pictures. And I will see you in the next video very, very soon. Bye everyone.